safety, services that most don't offer at all. Really? Like what? Well, every estimate I perform a load calculation on the home, an energy audit, and an air quality assessment. I'm not there just to sell a unit. I take time to identify problems and to educate clients on the best solution. By simply choosing the right equipment, I've actually had some of my customers save as much as $1,000 a year on their power bills, while also providing them with cleaner, healthier air. The savings in some cases was enough to pay for the unit. I also have financing options available, all with zero down payment and interest as low as zero percent. So the difference with one hour air conditioning and heating is our quality? Before you buy, let One Hour Comfort Advisor give you a no-obligation assessment of your system. Call One Hour at 912-427-7022. We're always on time. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for the latest in local news. And the news is going to be a packed house today at Uni Church of God for the Administrative Professional Day luncheon. Over 300 tickets have been sold for today's event, sponsored this year by the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce and the City of Joseph Downtown Development Authority. Ladies will be treated to a fashion show along with entertainment at lunch, exhibitors, and plenty of great door prizes. And it's always a popular event today, Wayne County's Administrative Professional Day luncheon, getting underway today at 11.30 a.m. at Uni Church of God. Again, over 300 tickets sold. For today's event. Don't forget this Friday's Chamber of Commerce Membership Appreciation Luncheon. All Chamber members invited to the lunch Friday from 1130 to 1 at H.J. Westbury Park. It's an annual event to show appreciation to the Chamber of Membership. Again, the luncheon set for Friday at H.J. Westbury Park. Menu, hamburgers, and hot dogs. It's a Western theme this year for the event. Again, all Chamber members are welcome this Friday. Wayne County Board of Education met last night for their monthly board meeting. The board got an update on the construction project on the new Martha Raw Smith School, which is under construction. According to Maintenance Supervisor David Simmons, it's going well on schedule for the upcoming school year with completion date around June or July. Sims and Dr. Brenton says they met at the site Tuesday with Buckley and Associates are doing the project. Everything seems to be on schedule. The board presented with a slide presentation of the construction site. Sims invited all board members to the site anytime they wish to go. The board approved funding requests for both the HOSA program and the FBLA program at the high school. Students have advanced to both national and international competition over the summer. Dr. Burgess on hand to give an update on the alternative school. Praise the work of teacher Vicki Drotty, who was present at the meeting. Dr. Burgess also organized students participating in the Duke Town in Induction Program as seventh graders take the ACT or SAT, SAT college entrance exams. And the program recognizes students and challenges them to reach their highest potential. Students from Martha Williams involved in the program are Grace Lee, Tyler Bridges, David Richards, and Zachary Stewart. From Martha Puckett, Luke Hendricks, also recognized with the National Beta School of Merit students as the following students in the Beta Club School of Merit instructor Tina Benner. Austin Brown, 8th grade president, Amari Franklin, 8th grade secretary, Levi Cooks, the 8th grade vice president, Caden Carter, 6th grade president, Brennan Long, 6th grade vice president, Hannah Ever, 6th grade chaplain, Mary Beth Morgan, 7th grade chaplain, Jocelyn Hawley, 7th grade president. Also approved last night was the personnel after an executive session. Certified recommendations, Amy Adams, Wayne County High School, Tommy Adams, Wayne County High School, Jana Collins, Central Office Special Ed, IC, Linda Exley, Wayne County High School, Kyla Holliday, Arthur Williams Middle School, Amber Manning, Martha Rawls Smith, Speech Pathologist, David Poinsett, Wayne County High School. Certified transfers, Derek Chastain, Wayne County High School to Arthur Williams Middle School, John Craiger, Wayne County High School to Martha Puckett Middle School, Brantley Smith, Wayne County High School to Martha Puckett Middle School. Certified resignations, Ryan Bailey, Martha Puckett Middle School, Teresa Barber, Martha Puckett Middle School, Christy Bateman, Martha Puckett Middle School, Skylar Kersey, Martha Puckett Middle School. Classified recommendations, Javora Brooks, Jessup Elementary School Food Service, Darlene McBee, Arthur Williams Middle School Food Service, Cynthia Moore, Arthur Williams Middle School Parapro, Reggie Sanders, Martha the Puckett Middle School Food Service. Classified transfers, Terry Davis, Arthur Williams Middle School at Odom Elementary, Corinthians Shepherds, Wayne County High School at Arthur Williams Middle School. Classified resignations, Bridget Rye, Wayne County High School Retirement, and Lisa Teston, James E. Bacon. James E. Bacon recently was notified that they're no longer on the focus school list across the state of Georgia, and by James E. Bacon exiting that list, no school in Wayne County is on any type of state list for failure to meet the state or federal expectations. Principal Kathy Carter received a letter from State Senator Blake Tillery congratulating her and the faculty and staff at James E. Bacon on the recent accomplishments accomplishment of exiting the focus school list. Tillery in the letter states that such achievement is not possible without the remarkable effort of, and cooperation of everyone on your team. Tillery says he commends their work of the teachers, the staff, and their dedication to educating the children and ensuring their success. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned.
Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. At Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. We know everyone wants the best vehicle at the best price. At Neesmith, we'll give you just that. We sell all makes and models from Lexuses, Nissans, BMWs, and of course all GM and domestic cars too. Best of all, if we don't have the vehicle on the lot you want, we can get it for you in just a day or two, tops. All we ask at Neesmith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price guaranteed. Only at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at NeesmithNow.com. That's NeesmithNow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. Morton Collision is located at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton's offers free estimates, 23-hour towing, and they guarantee their work. Call 427-3769 or after hours, 912-294-6140. The staff at Morton Collision Center works with all insurance companies. So for guaranteed work with a qualified staff, go to Morton Collision at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton Collision, quality you can see. Seasons change. Quality of service does it. For 75 years, First Franklin Financial has been serving the financial needs of your friends and neighbors. You can always depend on the caring staff to be there when you need them. Drop by and see your friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street or give them a call at 427-4237 or apply online at 1ffc.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. Funeral services for longtime downtown business owner Francis Gay Nix will be held this Friday at 2 p.m. at the Jessup First United Methodist Church at 2 p.m. Reverend Tucker Lewis will be officiating. The visitation set for tomorrow night, Thursday, from 6 to 8 p.m. at Howard Jones Funeral Home in Jessup. Nix passed away Monday at the age of 87 at the Harborview Health Systems after an extended illness. Native and lifelong resident of Wayne County, Nix owned and operated two Hallmark stores, one in Jessup, one in Hinesville. Again, the visitation tomorrow from 6 to 8 at Howard Jones Funeral Home. Funeral Friday, 12 noon, or I'm sorry, Friday, 2 p.m. at Jessup First United Methodist Church. Wayne County Commissioners held a special call meeting yesterday for the purpose of litigation. At the meeting, it was announced that the county reached a settlement with Grant Lewis regarding property where the construction of the overpass is underway on Highway 169. The settlement amount is $368,368.60. Currently, some $83,000 were paid, so the settlement reached Tuesday was for $285,000, bringing the total to the 368.60 total. Both sides state their pleas with the settlement and further litigation between Mr. Lewis and the county. Reminder, the county commissioners meeting for the month of May has been set for Thursday, May 4th, rather than Monday, May 1st, due to the fact commissioners will be attending a conference in Savannah on that Monday. So, again, their meeting date has been changed for the Thursday, May 4th date. Agenda is not out at this time, but as soon as we get the agenda, we'll have it here on the local news. Wayne County Band Boosters invited the public to meet and greet the new band director, Deshaun McGee, this Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. at the train depot. Again, the new high school band director will be on hand. And the public's invited to come meet and greet the new band director tomorrow night from 6 to 8 at the depot. Public invited. Wayne County continues to have young ladies who twirl batons land positions on collegiate fields. This fall, four more young ladies will twirl for, from Wayne County for the Georgia Southern Eagles Band as Macy Mather, Lexi Beaver, Addison Jefferson, and Kinsley Sims, all won positions with the Georgia Southern Twirl Team, will be performing at halftime during Georgia Southern football games. This week, a few will be trying out in Athens, Georgia. Mary Elizabeth Nipper is still on the Georgia line this fall. Katie Coffey, FSU's feature twirler from Wayne County. Alex Iroli just recently received a scholarship at TCU to be in the Horned Frogs Color Guard in the fall. Another member of the Wayne County Band receiving a scholarship. Again, our congrats to all the girls on their achievement at the collegiate level. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. At Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. We know everyone wants the best vehicle at the best price. At Neesmith, we'll give you just that. We sell all makes and models from Lexuses, Nissans, BMWs, and of course all GM and domestic cars too. Best of all, if we don't have the vehicle on the lot you want, we can get it for you in just a day or two, tops. 
All we ask at Neesmith Smith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price guaranteed. Only at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at NeesmithNow.com. That's NeesmithNow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties for over 13 years. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the only nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our new administrative offices, located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, have opened recently as phase one of our building project. Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak to someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. Final notes and news, free childbirth class being offered at Wayne Memorial Hospital on May the 6th. That's a Saturday from 9 to 1 in the hospital annex building. This class is ideal for those expected mothers 25 weeks pregnant or later by the class date. Those interested in registering can do so by calling 530-3117-530-118. Topics of the class will include the normal pregnancy, labor and delivery, with an emphasis on conscious prepared childbirth. Stress is placed on medically safe delivery in the hospital under a direction of a physician. Additional topics covered are infant care, infant feeding. Those attending are encouraged to invite a support to the class. Once again, the class Saturday, May 6th from 9 to 1 at the hospital annex building. Again, the number is to call 530-3117 or 530-3118. Wayne County Kindergarten registration set for May 2nd through the 4th, 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at all the elementary schools. James E. Bacon, Jessup Elementary, Martha Ross Smith, Odom Elementary, Scriven Elementary. This is for children who are not currently enrolled in the Wayne County School System. Register at the school that your child is zoned to attend. Following documents are required upon registration, certified birth certificate, social security card, immunization form 3231, proof of residency, picture ID, a parent, legal guardian, registering the child to attend kindergarten. Children must be five years of age on September 1st of 2017. That's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports can join in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, send have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. It's the first annual Jessup J.C. Spring Fair, April 25th through the 29th, Tuesday through Saturday. Games, rides, contests, and great food. Tuesday